Abdominal fat is dangerous for women and men. It has been linked to heart disease. The data below lists waist measurements for women and their overall cholesterol level. Use the data below to find the correlation coefficient R for a linear relationship between waist circumference in women and their cholesterol level. So we're looking for the correlation coefficient, and that's the variable R. And they give us something really helpful to calculate R. They give us the summary data value. So we have SSXX, SSXY, and SSYY, right? So that's the summary data values for this set of data. So all we have to do then is to plug that information into our formula for R. So let's see what that formula is to start with. First thing we want to do is recognize that the formula is just the mixed term SSXY divided by the square root of the product of the other two terms. So it'll be SSXX times SSYY. Okay, so now since we have these summary values calculated for us, it's just a simple matter of plugging that information in. So we have 8,698.371429 divided by the square root of SSXX, which is 1860.94357. Times SSYY, which is two thousand, or actually it's two hundred and twenty-one thousand seven hundred and thirteen point four two eight six. Okay, so that's our fraction. Let's go ahead and do the calculation, get the number, and then we'll do a little brief interpretation of that number. Okay, so eight thousand six hundred ninety-eight point. 371429 that divided by the square root of the product of 1860.943571 and 221713.4286 close up your parentheses hit enter and you get the answer 0. Point. so the answer is 0 0.4282 dot dot dot. Okay, so let's call it approximately 0 0.43. All right, so what the R measures is the strength of the linear relationship between the two variables. And we consider it to be a high value if it's close to 1. So if it's like 0 0.98, 0 0.99, those are really high R values. If it's something very um, low, and when we say low, we were referring to its absolute value, then it's something close to zero. So, you know, like 0 0.001 would be a very low R value. Of course, on the other side, if it's a negative, it just expresses a negative linear relationship. And so a very strong negative linear relationship is minus 0.999, that sort of thing. And a very weak negative linear relationship might be minus 0 0.003 or something like that, right? So this value here, this 0.4, it isn't uh, too strong. It's not super, super weak, but it's not very strong. If you remember, I think we were unable to show that there was a linear relationship with the data that we had at the time when we did the hypothesis test on the slope. And so that may be reflected here in the fact that the R is relatively weak.